previously on the Youth Edition. Oh, Vina comes flying through. Shoots up. Gets in there. 2-0 Cheltenham. Oh, persistence from young Lucas Vina. Well, will this be his season? That is the story that's unfolding. First start. Welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode with Cheltenham Town, FIFA 17. Two games played so far in the Premier League. Leaves us with a win and a loss on three points and in ninth position. Uh, we will have the second leg of our European League qualification match. We are 2-1 down against Grasshopper. That'll be the first game of this episode. And uh, we really need to push through and hopefully qualify for the Euro League this season. Uh, I can't see much more transfer action happening. Uh, I'm going to maybe pick up a couple more free agents. We'll have a look if there's anyone worth bringing in. They'll probably only be uh, youth style or twos players because there's not really a lot of quality out there at the moment. But uh, let's just get into this episode and see what unfolds. All right, here we go. It is the second leg of our Euro League qualification uh, encounter, and it's Grasshopper with a 2-1 aggregate lead, and they've got two away goals. So uh, the scenario is we need to win here 2-0 uh, to progress through to the Euro League group stages. And, uh, well, Tomite signing a contract, putting his faith back in the club. That's what we like to see. Uh, the Cooper ordeal is still going on, but uh, hopefully Tomite relishes this opportunity now to lead this club forward. And uh, what a picturesque stadium this is. Uh, hopefully we can get the job done here against Grasshopper. 2-0 is the requirement. Let's get into this game. Here's Elfie Alexander. Slips through the middle nicely, Elfie. It's a decent run. Slips it inside, Jonesy! It's gone in! It's 1-0 Cheltenham! And Jonesy gets forward from right back to help the team out. Gets his first goal of the season. A blistering run from the Australian. Slips it inside. Jonesy whips it at the keeper. He fucked it up completely. And it's 1-0 Cheltenham gets in. Two all on aggregate. But they have the away goals. We are going to need to score again if we want to progress through here in the Euro League. What a start though. Tom Dari must have put a rocket up them. They've come out firing. And it's 1-0 on the day. 2-2 on aggregate. Yellow to Costa to Suarez inside JDT turns his man nicely JDT get in son fucking get in there 2 0 Cheltenham 19 minutes gone and the boys have come out looking for a fight and some good wheeling around there from JDT whips it onto his right boot and snaps it past the keeper it's 2 0 Cheltenham gets in outside of the boot curls it back deliciously and it's fucking 2-0, 3-2 on aggregate. We've got the lead we came for, and we're only 20 minutes in. All right, Grasshopper working their way back into the game with the corner here. Costa got up. Needs to get out again, but Baker's there to recover it nicely. Cedric Fatoza off to Jones in. He's got some space here, Jones. He's got Cooper working down the line for him. Elfie Cooper cuts back through the midfield, finds JDT, puts on a burst of space. He steps it forward. Yes, he does. Elfie Alexander. Oh, dropped in the box, and it's a fucking penalty. Everything coming up, Cheltenham. Get in, son. All right, Tomite. Put the nail in the coffin. Oh, saved by the keeper. And there's half time. Cheltenham out of the blocks early. 2 0 on the day. And 3-2 uh, on aggregate. Tomita flicks it over the top. Minutes. Costa it's controls it nicely. It's Ivan Costa. Slips it forward. Elfie Alexander gets in! He's having a stellar game, Elfie Alexander. Now he gets a goal to his name. It's 4-2 on aggregate. Ivan Costa slips down the wing. A great ball inside. And he nutmegs the keeper, the Australian. Oh, mate, get this man a Vegemite sandwich. Delicious finish. 3-0 on the day, 4-2 on aggregate. Tom Dari, ecstatic. Oh, save from Baker. Big fill with the block. Baker with the save, and it's a corner for Grasshopper. 57 minutes gone. And it's all Cheltenham at the moment. Baker does well. He decides to have a little bit of a run himself, and then he slips it forward to JDT. 
JDT now slips through the middle, passes this one off to the run of Cooper. He tried to get the ball across, but it was a poor pass. Take his good ball. Mite. Slips it across. Here's a Villa. Works his way inside. A Villa. Oh, that's terrible. There's the whistle. So we beat Grasshopper 3-0 on their own deck. And we progress through, I think, to the group stages now. What a fantastic performance from the lads. We just did what we needed to do today. Nine shots, 50% possession, put in the 10 tackles. But uh, Tabite, Costa, uh, Alfie Alexander was absolutely outstanding. Gets himself a 9.5. All right, time to sign some free agents. And I uh, found Stephen Coueto, a uh, 68 overall centre midfielder at 19 years of age. Nine grand a week is probably a little bit excessive for a young kid that's probably only going to be playing in the youth team. But he was happy to accept a uh, sporadic first-team player. Uh, so we'll get him in just to give us a bit more squad depth. And we were also in need of a third right back. So I found Pedro Gomez Sola, 66 overall right back at 18 years of age, only 3,600. And uh, we'll get him into the club. All right, so here is Coeto. Uh, he's got some decent pace and shit about him. He's got uh, 86 agility, you know, good sprint speed. So he's got the good physical stats, uh, some good ball control and short passing skills. He's from Germany, 5 foot 11, uh, can play CM or CDM, two star weak foot, three star skill move. So he'll probably play CDM for a little while here in the youth team, I think. And Gomez Sola is a 66 overall right back, 88 acceleration already. Uh, so some good pace there for a right back, some good ball control. We'll just need to work on his uh, defensive capabilities a little, I think. He's from Spain, six foot two, uh, two star weak foot, three star skill moves. All right, we've got a transfer offer here for Chung So Ro from Manchester United. And uh, we're gonna reject all offers. He's not going anywhere. The big South Korean CDM with the potential to be special. All right, here we go. This is a big one. Back to the Premier League, and we travel to Old Trafford to take on Manchester United. And this is where the squad depth is really going to get a test out because uh, the twos are going to go out here and take this one on. Because it's only a couple of days after that Euro League game, and I uh, just need to keep the rotations, keep everyone fresh because uh, these youth players still don't have a lot of stamina about them as they grow. Once they hit 23-24, they will have the stamina required to run out full games. But, uh, yeah, I want to keep everyone fresh, so the maximum potential for all players. It's a uh, no-face player debut here for Manchester United in court air. And it'll be interesting to see what kind of team they do put out here against Cheltenham Manchester United. Because we are fielding a reserve team predominantly. And, um, well, they did the job against West Ham. Home. I wonder if they can do it here away. Here's the Manchester United lineup. Uh, Griezmann up front. Okay. De Gea's on the bench. Pogba on the bench. Yeah. Oh, they've got a Barmyang as well. Jeez. They've been busy in the transfer window, as is fucking scripted by FIFA. Picking up every striker they can here at Manchester United. But uh, let's hope the reserve team are up for the challenge. Jose Mourinho, you look like you need a hot dog. Work from Tekkers on Lingard. And here's Rowe. Sips it off. Zaki Anwar. Magnificent ball skills of Zaki. And it's a Villa back inside. Lucas Vina. Oh, needed to take the shot properly. Right, it's a free kick here for Manchester United. 39 minutes gone. It's Memphis Depay. And save from Baker. Brilliant stuff from the Australian goalkeeper. And Sykes whips it out for a goal kick. Lucas Fernandez did well. Checkers unleashes Lucas Vina. Vina slips through. Still going Vina. Find Zaki Anwar. Oh, Zaki. Well, there's half time. It's been a tough first half for Cheltenham. Couple of shots. Manchester United have been all over us like a cheap suit, and it's nil all. Oh no, there we go, straight through, but Baker makes the save. The news comes through that Harry Kane has gone to Real Madrid. Well, they got past Borges for Hernandez there to Griezmann, but Baker with a class save, growing in stature, the young Australian keeper, the number one at the club now. And here we are, into the box. Here's the header off the sidebar. They brought Pogba on, they know they need something. And it's another corner for Manchester United. We're going to have to be on our A game now with Pogba on the pitch. And here he is, flipping it over the top. Baker makes a punch out. There's Pereira. Off to Mbula. 
Gets around Geordie Fight. Gets around Tekkers. Back to Pogba. He's got Rowe to deal with. Rowe gets in there. Bartram does well. Anwar. Geordie Fye. Off to Tekkers. Ah, oh, we're just running into brick walls here. Here's Pearson though. Slips it forward to Rowe. Rowe quick touch on. Zaki Anwar. Slips it forward to Lucas Vina. Gets the run out wide. It's Tekkers. Let me create. Cheeky back heel. Geordie Fye slips it inside. Looking for Lucas Vina. Lucas Vina takes it out wide. Need some help, boys. Cheeky one back to Rowe. Chunso Rowe. Oh, Blinn's taking it to the face, but Lucas Vina recovers it. It's Cheltenham at the moment. Trying to set something up. Lucas Vina. Can he get this ball inside? He can. A Villa. Picked off by Shaw. Oh, come on. That was all too easy. Three little whips around, and uh, Manchester United from Shaw. Ball comes in, up, pass, little chip, class goal from Manchester United, well worked set piece. And Baker couldn't get there, it's 1-0 Manchester United. Griezmann through and just wide. I did well, he just went off to Millet, and Millet is away, one on one, can he get there? Oh! What happened there? And there's the whistle. So a 1-0 defeat to Manchester United. And we lose on the road again. Well, a pretty fair effort from the Cheltenham boys at Old Trafford. But uh, just lacking a little bit there. That is for sure. Tamite came on, created a few extra opportunities. But we're just missing something. Probably an outstanding game for me was Chunso Rowe uh, in the midfield. Uh, five out of eight tackles. And uh, six from six dribbles. Yeah, it was thoroughly involved in the game. All right, so transfer deadline day is done. Not really any action there for Cheltenham. And uh, no one really came in for any of our players. Cooper didn't even get a sniff. So you're fucking stuck here, mate. Uh, let's have a look at our current youth academy. Ender Bowen, 89 to 94. Uh, Christoph Zalviski is a 74 to 92. Uh, Kaspar Kaskamarek. 74-92. to uh, Tadzu Zalewski, 76-94. to uh, David Kolovisky, 74-94. to Bernard Kolovisky, 71-93. to Peter Turner, 72-92. to Andrew Connolly is an 84-90. to He's 60 overall. And a right midfielder. Uh, Benjamin Falker, 62 overall, 83-89. to Wasn't willing to accept the contract, so we'll leave him there for now as uh, Larry White is back anyway. And Anton Vertanen, 76 to 94. All right, we're in Saudi Arabia, and uh, really only one player to keep an eye on is Farouk El Hadi, uh, 49 to 65, 74 to 94 potential, and he's worth 130 grand. We're going to sign him in to the Youth Academy. All right, we're in Germany now, and there is a couple of players to keep an eye on here. One is Emil Engel. Uh, 70 to 94, potential six foot one. We're going to offer him a contract. And uh, the other one is Timo Elberecht. Uh, or is it Patrick Ludwig? Patrick Ludwig, 46 to 64, 66 to 90. Uh, 240 evaluation, we'll sign him in as well. And uh, we're in Italy, and not a lot coming through here. Lorenzo Giordano looks pretty good at 46 to uh, 62, 65 to 89 potential. I'm going to scout him for another month. Uh, and the same with uh, Gasparoni. Uh, we'll keep an eye on these lads. No one coming in from Italia on this squad report. Now, the unfortunate news is that Costa has broken his tibia at training, and we will now be without him for four months. Uh, that's just great, isn't it? All right, so the transfer window is wrapped up. Just the two games in this episode. I just want to do a full squad report on that. You know, if we do them, they just tend to go on for ages. So uh, let's have a look through this. I have sorted by position. Larry White is a 61. He's gone up two. Aiden Baker is an 81. And uh, he will grow. He fucking will grow. Pedro Gomez, 67. He's gone up one already, uh, showing great potential, great physicals, and uh, could be something for the future. You never know. 
Uh, Sean Jones, 75. He's gone up one. Our first team right back. And Lapravet is now a 70. He has gone up one as well. So there's three decent right backs there. Moving into centre back, we've got Big Phil Mulholland, and uh, he has got a red card against his name, or a, a domestic fucking ban, uh, which is unfortunate. Too many yellows, um, I'm assuming. Don't even know when he picked those up. Anyway, uh, Fernandez is a 71 overall, and uh, good physicals. Uh, Fatosa, 75, gone up two. He's growing nicely. Oliver Bartram is a 71 already gone up too, so he's already started growing, which is great. Uh, so only the four centre backs at the club. Myers a 61 gone up one. We've got him on the loan list. Let's uh, remove that for now. And he is an exciting prospect. So uh, he's got a lot of growing to do. He's a, he's a well-rounded sort of 16-year-old. But uh, yeah, we're going to need a lot of growth out of him. Uh, Jake Pearson is a 70. Uh, he's got some good pace working in the twos there. Uh, Brandt, 73, gone up two. Has the potential to be special. Still only young. Those physicals will start kicking in. Already 81 strength, so he's hitting the gym hard. Uh, CDMs, we've got uh, Carlos Henrique Alfaro Suarez, 75, gone up two. And uh, still growing along there nicely. Uh, Chunso Ro, 72, gone up one. Has the potential to be special. We need a bit more strength, but that will come with age. Uh, Elfie Cooper on the right hand side is an exciting prospect. Still unhappy. I've offered him contracts. He says no, and but no one came in for him, so you stuck with us, Coops, and hopefully you are uh, take that opportunity. Uh, we've also got Ramiro Avila, has the potential to be special, wants a bit more game time, so we'll have to uh, sort of rotate him in. Um, definitely off the bench. Uh, Kusha, 68, gone up one, showing great potential. Uh, Steven Cueto, we've just brought in 68 overall, showing great potential. Some good physicals there, he will grow nicely. Uh, Jordi Fire is a 72, showing great potential, good physical stats. Uh, Simon Luna is a 74. He's going to grow a little bit more, but I can't see him, uh, you know, hitting super heights the nose. But um, serviceable, does the job, and uh, it's been here since season one, so uh, a bit of a cult figure around the club now. John Michel Diallo is an 82. And uh, he's content. He probably wants a little bit more money, I'd assume. But uh, some good stats there for the Toure region. Zaki Anwar is a 71. He has gone up one. And he'll make his way into the first team now, I think. I'm going to play him in the cam roll for a while. See how he slots back in there. Boundary still out on loan at Port Vale. He's just a 63. He hasn't grown so far. Uh, Dara Fanning, 63. Going up one. Showing great potential. Uh, Ludovic Barbier, 68. Gone up one. Showing great potential. Uh, Niall Kelly is a 64 overall. He's an exciting prospect. And uh, the left midfielder, 16 years of age, will get his opportunities definitely in the youth side. Alfie Alexander is a 69, gone up one. Uh, 79, gone up one, should I say. And probably just about hitting uh, his top end. But uh, hopefully he grows a little bit more. I'd like an 80, 82 out of him. That'd be nice. I can't... Uh, yeah, maybe. Might get lucky. Uh, a lot of left midfielders. Uh, Tekkers is a 72. Hasn't really grown much. Now we move into the cam roll. We've got Felix Dosu, 70 now. He has gone up one. So uh, yeah, he doesn't feel quite right on the ball at the moment. But uh, one goal, one assist already. And an 8.9 rating. Well, we'll take that any day of the week. Hervé Miller is a 65, showing great potential. Uh, Han Yongman, 67, gone up one. And uh, playing a lot of these cams out on the wings. Uh, for when they come in in the youth side. Ivan Costa, 73, gone up one, but he's got that broken tibia now, and he'll be missing for four months. Uh, Oscar Fredrickson is a 63, gone up one. Ugh, fuck me. Jeez, how boring is a squad report? And, uh, yeah, he doesn't have any potential, but a uh, little bit of a cult figure floating around as well. We'll see what happens to him in the future. Samuel Fister, uh, 61, gone up two. And uh, I did put him on the loan list. We'll remove him from the loan list. And uh, he is an exciting prospect. So it's going to take a while for him to develop. But he could be something really good. He's already got 90 dribbling. So uh, a little bit of work there on his skills. And uh, you could see him getting a few more opportunities up front. Uh, John, John Daniel Tomite. Apparently he's leaving. I don't fucking understand this. He's just signed a new contract and all that other good shit. He's an 85 now. He's gone up one. And uh, I've just got no idea what's happening. He's already picked up five goals, uh, if you include the preseason tournament. 
Ruby Lucas Vina is a 72, gone up one. His pace is growing, which is great. Only showing great potential, so uh, the David Vial regen won't grow uh, to too many heights, but uh, has been very serviceable already this season. And uh, that is the full squad here at Cheltenham. All right, today's player upgrade will be uh, Maya. I think that's how we're going to say it. I think he's from the Netherlands from memory. Uh, the left back playing in the youth team. And uh, could be something special in the future. You never, never know. But uh, if you want to make any changes to his number or kit, let me know in the comments. And I'll get that happening in a future episode. Right, so as for the table, obviously it's only early in the season. Uh, we've slipped back to 14th there with that loss to Manchester United. And they went top of the table. And, uh, fuck me, what's going on here? Why are you wanting so much? Liverpool. Are at the bottom of the table. Ah, oh, that's fucking funny. Well, that's what we'll leave it today. Uh, hopefully I'll get some sleep and uh, be a bit more energetic for the next episode. And we'll see you then. I'm Spyro DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.